And that's something him and Manny Robles has been working on a lot. You know, when he came to Manny, he wasn't really putting his legs and his hips into his punches. So he was kind of pitter-pattering, and he's really developed that power, as we can see early in this fight. Now, you take a look at the eyes of Ruiz. He's starting to look like a raccoon with the black eyes. Jab, jab, jab is getting through, and occasionally the right hand. See that? Right on the button with that jab. Look at the, look at the left eye. Oh, man, look at these shots. Valdez loading up shots. The left hook powerful again. Body shot powerful. And he has to get down. That caught him on the liver. That last body oh. shot. Now let's see if he can in. If he catches him on that liver again, he'll go right down again. That time on the left hook. Upstairs and back downstairs. But I'll tell you right now, Ruiz is taking a beating. Look at these right hands. Left hook, right hand. The liver shot. And down he goes again. Right on top of him. This fight's all over. Oscar Valdez Jr. has knocked out. Matias People didn't know about Oscar Valdez on a worldwide stage. They do now. Overhand right. I mean, you want to talk accuracy? <laughs> Look at these punches. Wow. The body shot, beautiful. The only one that missed was that last punch because he was already going down. He was halfway down and he swung over the head. Oh, that nice left to the body. I saw that so much in his sparring. You know, talking to his corner, they said if he stops him, it's going to be with the left hook to the body. And that seemed to be the punch. The winner by knockout victory. And now the new WBO featherweight champion of the world, Benogoles de Nord Mexico.